Hi, today we're going to do a walkthrough of the Big Leaf Web Dashboard that provides you with visibility and access to your Big Leaf service. The Web Dashboard allows you to understand how your circuits are performing and how Big Leaf is optimizing your traffic. And it helps you troubleshoot when problems arise so you can quickly resolve any issues you're experiencing. You can access the Big Leaf Web Dashboard by going to app.bigleaf.net or by clicking on the login link on the homepage of our website at www.bigleaf.net. When we first sign in, we get to a summary screen that gives us a glance of what's going on with all the locations we have access to see. We can see how many of our sites are offline, how many have circuit quality issues, and how many are fine and healthy. The issue log down below shows line items for each issue that's currently ongoing. We can see the locations that have some sort of problem and get a quick understanding of what they are. On the left here, we can see a list of all our locations by name. For each, there is a status icon that shows the overall health of the site. This makes it easy to see what locations are running fine and those that need to be investigated. So these ones with the green checkmark icon are healthy, the ones with the yellow exclamation mark are experiencing difficulties, and the one with the red X are completely down. We can click into any of these sites to see more detail about what's happening. Let's take a look at this site, which looks to be having some issues. When we click in, we get into the overview section of the dashboard. In addition to the overview, we can see and access these other sections of the dashboard through these tabs. We'll take a look at each of these sections over the course of this walkthrough. Starting with this overview section, we see the overall health of this location and how Big Leaf is optimizing the traffic traveling to and from this site. In this first section, we see the risks Big Leaf has identified for this location. With our risk monitoring, Big Leaf automatically summarizes all of the alarms that we've assessed on your circuits, and we put them into context and provide an interpretation about what all of those alarms are symptoms of. We'll talk a little bit more about Big Leaf's risk monitoring in a little bit. Over here in the site conditions section, we get a snapshot of the current conditions of our site with the Big Leaf service in place over the last hour. Here we see our site's bandwidth utilization, average latency, and average packet loss. These numbers on the left are the quantitative measurements for each of those items. The numbers are color coded to give us a quick visual status update. Green signifies that your site is healthy or within normal limits. Yellow means that there are things to be cautious about. And red means there is some emergency type condition that should be addressed right away. All of these numbers are from the Big Leaf appliance to the tunnel endpoint or Big Leaf point of presence. We see that there has not been any bandwidth used at this location in the last hour, so let's take a look at another site where we can see some data. Okay, here at this site, we've seen that they've used some bandwidth, but in their overall capacity, it's actually a very small amount, and they have a lot of bandwidth still left. But if the number gets and stays consistently higher, that could be a signifier for when you're doing capacity planning to increase your bandwidth. This number here shows the average amount of round trip latency from the Big Leaf router to the tunnel endpoint after Big Leaf optimizations. Most people have about 10 to 20 milliseconds, so we can see here that this site is running right in that range. And this number shows the average packet loss through the Big Leaf service over the last hour, also after Big Leaf optimizations. This site is looking really good as they've had no packet loss in the last hour. Down here, we see a quick summary of how the circuits at this location are doing. Here again, we use color coding as a simple way to show what's going on. Each circuit has also been given a descriptive label. To better understand what these mean, you can simply hover over the indicator to see how the label is defined. All of the circuits at this location are up and doing fine. Let's go back to our other site that had an issue with one of their circuits so you can see what that looks like. So here at this location, we see that there are two circuits that are green and labeled up, which means everything is great with those circuits. But right now, this location does have one circuit that is down. But fortunately, by having Big Leaf in place, the traffic that would normally be traveling through this circuit is being automatically load balanced across the other circuits that are up and running well. There is also a yellow indicator that means the circuit has some degraded conditions with jitter, packet loss, and or latency. We have the same type of information for your device status as well. This here is referencing the primary router that Big Leaf provided for this location. If you had high availability and or a warm spare device, those would show up here too. Now down here in the traffic optimization section, it shows what kind of traffic performance improvements have happened because you are running the Big Leaf service. 
For each of these, there is a description of what we're referring to. For traffic rerouting, we're consistently monitoring your circuits bidirectionally for jitter, packet loss, and latency, and then also identifying the types of traffic and putting them into our QoS categories, then picking which of your circuits that is best for that type of traffic. For example, for voice and video traffic, we'll push that through the circuit with the least jitter, packet loss, and latency. But for bulk data that can be sent down a circuit without being affected by poor performance conditions, we'll send that traffic down the circuit with the most bandwidth. Not only does this section help you understand what Big Leaf is doing, it's an easy way for you to share this information with the rest of your company, such as your executive leaders, on how you are improving your organization's internet connectivity and performance, and therefore keeping your cloud applications running as they need to be. Over here in this Risks tab, it expands on what we saw on the overview page and provides a more detailed description about what the risks are to your site. We included risk monitoring as a way to minimize all of the alarms that can be generated within a system that just end up being noise that make it difficult to see the big picture of the problems your connections are facing that can pose a risk to your site's uptime and your overall business operations. This section tells us what overall risks exist for this location. We have a total of 12 risk categories that we use to sum up what's happening at your site. And we also provide a recommended course of action on how to eliminate or minimize these risks. Over here in the performance tab, we can see in more detail how your circuits are performing at the specific site. And we can see this info on a per circuit basis. This can help us really pinpoint what issues are causing poor performance so we can address them. Up top here, the graphs in the overall section are used to depict the performance through the Big Leaf system including how all of our QoS and load balancing benefits are being applied to the traffic. This is a throughput graph, so this is on the interface connecting from our equipment to your equipment and shows how much traffic is flowing through there. For all of this data, we can select different time periods that we're looking at, either with the selections in the drop-down menu or by using the plus and minus and left and right buttons. This allows us to really dig into specific time periods to understand any quality issues. Each graph also has a legend to give us an understanding at what we're looking at. Latency and packet loss is represented in this graph. It shows latency running along over time, and this red line shows when the site has experienced packet loss. Again, this is the overall through the system view of things. As we mentioned earlier, we can see the connectivity performance of this site on a per circuit basis. This business is showing to have three DSL circuits from two different ISP providers. For the first circuit at this location, here we can see its throughput. We can also see the capacity of this circuit, which is the estimated capacity that our algorithms have determined this circuit can support. You can see when the circuit has been stable and when there have been changes in that capacity. And lastly, we can see the Big Leaf health alarms, which relate to the packet loss, latency, and jitter health of each circuit. We assign different levels of alarms from zero to seven. A zero level is a clean and healthy circuit while a seven alarm is a hard outage where the circuit is not operational at all. A one alarm is a minor issue that our system will adapt to and one you don't need to worry about at all. A two to six alarm is a service affecting problem that our system will also adapt to to ensure that any traffic that shouldn't be on that circuit isn't. And again, as we mentioned in the Big Leaf Web Dashboard, we can see all of this information for each of the circuits we have connected to this location. Now over here in the Troubleshooting tab, if you are a super admin, you can run troubleshooting tests on your site. These are standard test types, but we included them here so they are more accessible as you can run them directly from the Big Leaf Web Dashboard. Being able to run these tests over the Big Leaf Overlay Network makes it so that the test data is more accurate and objective, unencumbered by the different ways traffic is handled by different players in the stream. There are three different kinds of tests, from the simple to the more advanced. The ping test helps you identify how long it takes packets to transmit from a location to Big Leaf. It's a good way to determine if there's something in the path that's causing a problem. The traceroute test, also known as MTR, would trace the route that all of the network packets take along that path. Whereas the ping test is point to point, the MTR test identifies all the stops a packet takes along the way, giving you the ability to pinpoint individual devices that might be causing a problem. And the most advanced test is a packet capture function, the TCP dump. With this testing function, Big Leaf captures the TCP IP packets transmitted between the network and a Big Leaf router to identify whatever traffic abnormalities that may exist. 
So if you are having problems, you can understand what the traffic is actually doing. Big Leaf makes it very easy to select the type of test you want to do and enter the information necessary to get the data you're looking for. In the TCP dump test, you can select the device at the site you want to test, or even from the tunnel endpoint itself. You can run it through any of the interfaces available to you based on your hardware selections. And you can run it in and out unidirectionally or bidirectionally. And a really cool function available is if you check this write to file box. After it's done doing the packet capture, you'll be able to download the file, which is a PCAP file, and then analyze it with something like Wireshark or another utility like that so it's easier to analyze the data. Or you can use it to provide it to your ISP to show them what's going on and get them to specifically address what's necessary. In the configuration section, you'll get all the details of the site, including all of the circuit information and site settings. And you can even see the primary and secondary Big Leaf POPs your location is connected to. Some things you can do here are things like putting in custom traffic routing settings. So hopefully you've learned a lot about the Big Leaf Web Dashboard with this walkthrough. If you have any questions about this walkthrough or even want help understanding what your data means in your dashboard, our support team is always available to help you interpret what's going on and even to help you troubleshoot any issues that you're experiencing. Thanks for joining us and we look forward to working with you soon.